Good afternoon, this is Ian Dubay at the AAU Junior Olympic Games in Houston, Texas. I'm here with Amberly Melendez, race walk star extraordinaire. Amberly, yes. how are you today? I'm doing good, a little hot, but I'm handling it. <laughs> well, you're, you're from Texas. Doesn't mean I like it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So we were talking off the air and you're going to Milwaukee. Yes, I'm going to Cardinal Stretch University in Wisconsin. Talk to the audience and let us know, how did you get into race walking? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, well, my coach actually came to my school and he did a clinic, and they said they had just gone to Disney World, and I had never been to Disney World, so I was like, okay, I want to go to Disney World. So we got in, and I actually won the gold medal that summer, and I barely went to Disney World last year, so it took a while, but I made it. <laughs> well, reading your statistics here, you won the Junior Olympic Games in 2009, 2010, you missed two years, and 2013, 14, and 15, and you're or the favorites for 2016. So tell me what happened in 2011 and 12. 2011 and 12, I took a break from race walking because I wanted to try more sports in my middle school. So I did soccer, I did basketball, I did cross country, I did everything but race walking. <laughs> and come freshman year, I went to high school that no longer had sports, so I decided to get back into race walking. Tell me, when did you know that you fell in love with race walking? You know, you tried a few other sports, but when did you know? When I realized, I've always known that race walking has big opportunities for me. So when I realized that I can go to college for free on a scholarship, I instantly fell in love with it. Because education to me has always come first. So something that can give me a free education would be amazing. So if you weren't a race walker, what would you be? Oh, I've never thought of that. Um, I love to run, but just by myself without a clock. Uh, maybe I also do photography sometimes. So okay. who knows? I could have gone into anything, actually. I've tried everything, so... <laughs> Do you see yourself on the Olympic team in 2020? It's a dream. It's definitely a dream. Um, it's always been a dream, and I hope I'm going to keep training, and that is the plan right now to try and make it to 2020 Olympics. So what would you do differently now, knowing that there's not a lot of opportunity mm -hmm. outside NAIA collegiate ranks? Mm -hmm. Would you consider going to Europe and living there and training? going to Europe. I mean, if I'm given the opportunity, why not? I'm always open to new opportunities and, you know, going out there and exploring the world. So definitely, yes. Okay. So let's wrap this up here. First of all, I always want to know, <laughs> what can we expect from you today as far as performance? Performance. Well, the goal today is finish first and um, hopefully break the record I broke last year. So I'm going to try and break my own record, hopefully. That's the plan. And that record time is what? Uh, 1454. Take me through that. I mean, in, in order to walk 1454, what is it going to take from you today after coming from California uh, <laughs> this morning? Uh, two days ago. Two days, two days ago, ago. And then trying to perform at a high level here in the hot weather at 3 o'clock. Well, definitely um, the plan is to start off slow. We always do that. We start off slow and we work our way up to a faster pace. So that faster pace will hopefully get me to a time below 14.55. Are there any competitors that you're looking out for? Um, not right now. <laughs> no, it, the, my coach says my competition's time. So okay, so you're running against the time. clock. Okay. Yes, against the clock, that's going to be my competition. Okay, collegiately. Mm -hmm. Who is going to be either looking out for you or who are you going to be looking out for when you get to the next level? Um, when I get to college, I'll probably be looking out for, there's a bunch of girls right now. We got a good group of girls, luckily. Um, one of them is Annalise Nettle. She's from Chicago. Okay. She's always been in my competition, so she'll definitely be one to look out for. Okay. Well, we look forward to <laughs> seeing you. you do your thing today. <laughs> and thank you very much, people. AAU, signing out.